In my most recent video, I explained that a Japanese tank destroyer line will be one of the next lines to come to World of Tanks. And as you already may have known, I have made a video on a tank destroyer line for Japan. But today, I'm going to show off a second tank destroyer line proposal. But this time, this is for turreted tank destroyers. Anyways, guys, I'm Jordan, also known as Hotshot Raptor, and welcome to the video. I upload a wide amount of content on my channel, from World of Tanks to funny moments to a game I am making and more. If you if you like those videos and you want to check out some more be sure to like this video and subscribe anyways let's get into the video Coming in at tier 2 is the Type 94 47mm. This was a proposal to turn the Type 94 tankette into a tank destroyer. The tank would feature a backward mounting gun, making this a tier 2 archer. The gun would have the same cannon as the Ho Ru, so its stats would be similar. Its penetration on standard rounds would be 78mm with 70 HP of damage on standard rounds. In game, this would play like the archer, but at tier 2 and it will be pretty much useless. The 47mm gun will be competitive at its tier, but that's about it. Kusei A, designed in 1945, was a bid to convert the Kiho into a tank destroyer. The turret of the Kiho was removed and replaced with a superstructure with front and side protection. The tank would be very speedy with a top speed of 50 km per hour, making it one of the fastest tank destroyers at tier 3. The tank would house the 47mm gun as its stock gun and mount a 75mm Type 99 gun as its top gun. However, this would be like a tier 3 Honi so theoretically its gun stats would be something like 90 millimeters of penetration and 110 HP of damage on standard rounds if it were to use the same gun as the Honey in my old proposal. Ho-Ai was created during the war in China. The idea was to create a tank that would be able to knock out pillboxes. The Japanese started working on converting Chi Haz to knock out pillboxes, effectively creating the Ho-Ai, mounting a howitzer gun onto the Chi He. 31 of these were built. The stock gun would be a 57mm low velocity gun, and the top gun will be the Type 41 75mm mountain gun, which will make this similar playstyle as the Tier 4 Italian medium tanks gun so the stats will possibly be similar like having 92 millimeters of penetration and 110 HP of damage on standard rounds but this is a tank destroyer so you would expect the damage to go up to around 150 <laughs> tier 5 is the SNLF Chi Ha Built by the Japanese for the same purpose as the Hoai, but this time it would mount the same gun as on the OI Experimental, the monstrous 120mm derp gun. The tank would be slow as it's an exceptionally heavy gun on the Chiha chassis, so the top speed would be something like 25 km per hour. The armour would be poor as well, as it would have the Chiha's hull and the Tora armour would be the same as well. The hull armour would be 50, 25 and 20 and the Tora armour would be 50, 50 and 25 millimetres. The top gun is the 120mm OI Experimental's derp gun, so this would have 65mm of penetration and do 360 HP of damage. Now, Tier 6 and Tier 7 are two tanks I have already covered in my first Japanese Tech Tree video, so I'm going to use their stats and maybe upgrade them a little bit. The tank had many different gun proposals. The first was the Type 5 75mm gun, 7.5cm anti-tank gun Type G and some more. Its armour would be 12mm all around the hull and would have a top speed of 43km per hour. The tank's average damage would be around 150 and the penetration would be 190. However, this would be buffed to around 200 damage on its standard rounds. Tier 7 is the Carto. During 1943, development had started on a 105mm gun that could fight against the Allies. This led to a 10cm tank gun Type 5. The Carto was the tank that was designed to mount this gun. And it would play a lot like the NATO before it, but it would have a lot better of a gun and a lot 
punchier of a gun. Not much else to say about this tank, however, it would have a fully rotating turret. Its armor would be 25 millimeters on the front, 25 on the side, and 20 on the rear. Its top gun would have 185 millimeters of penetration and deal a 330 HP of damage, effectively making this a tier seven SU-130PM. Tier 8 is probably the most interesting tank in this tech tree and would be the tank that a lot of people enjoy playing. This is the 120mm naval gun Chiha prototype. What's interesting about this tank is that there's only one photo of it and only one concept of this existing. It's a beast of a vehicle and in real life this wouldn't work, but in the game it would. This tank would play a lot like the FV4005 or the Challenger in the British tech tree and it would also have a fully rotating turret making it better than those tanks. Its armour would be very poor as it's a Chiha chassis making it 50mm on the front, 25 on the side and 20 on the rear of the hull. I can see this having some insane penetration values, something like 250mm of penetration and 750 HP of damage on standard rounds, much like the ISU-152's top gun. Tier 9 and Tier 10 are technically not tank destroyers, they're artillery pieces, but they're going to feature in this line because they have turrets and Japan can't really muster their own artillery line. Anyways, this is the Type 74 SPH. This tank entered service in the Japanese army in the 1970s and would mount a 105mm gun. This tank would play much like the Conway but with less armour and better mobility and a slightly better gun as well. What's interesting about this tank is that as much as there's not much information for me to say about, this tank is technically still in service in its home country. Although it entered service in the 70s, by 2001, Japan reported to the UN that are still 20 in service. So this could be one of the first tanks to still be in service in its home origin army in the game. Anyways, tier 10 is the Type 75 SPH, and this is much like the Type 74. This was built as an SPG, but could easily fill the slot into the turreted tank destroyer role. Two prototypes were built in 1971 and in 1972, so this would only just fit into the World of Tanks timeframe, making it a good choice for the tier 10 role. Pretty much having similar attributes to it than the Type 74 at tier 9, but this would have a 155L30 howitzer. The tank itself is bigger and the turret is definitely bigger than the tier 9 as well, making this an easier target to hit. So this would have really low camo values but they would make up for a very meaty gun for very low reload as well the tank would be fast terrible armor pretty much the same as a tier 9 but bigger and better in most aspects anyways guys what do you think of this line i really want to see a japanese turreted tank destroyer line i want to see both of their lines coming into the game i know this one will be harder to implement because two of the tanks in this line were featured in my last line proposal and two of them aren't even tank destroyers, they're artillery or self-propelled howitzers. But anyways, what do you think of this? If you like this video, be sure to like and subscribe, and I hope you all have a nice day.